Hello, this is Nitin Dahad with the e Times, and I'm here at uh, the Synopsis uh, series of events, which is the SNUG and the Executive Forum at um, the Santa Clara Convention Center, and the CEO of Synopsis, um, Sassine Ghazi. Sassine, hello. Hi there. This is this is becoming a tradition for you and I to do yes, this. Yes, and, and yeah? we, we get the amazing backgrounds yeah, as well. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so yes, thank you for joining me. I know you're a very busy man. Uh, so uh, just wanted to get a little bit of uh, high-level highlights from you. Uh, you did the keynote this morning, and then you um, obviously had the fireside chat with Rene. Uh, uh, just, you know, you're talking about re-engineering engineering in this age of per pervasive AI, but what does that all mean? And, you know, I think uh, it drills down to a lot of uh, change in the way of the workflows, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, so if I were to summarize it and zoom out at a high level, yeah. the systemic complexity of the future products that they have AI uh, powered yeah. workload. Yeah. And uh, I'm talking about end products, a drone, a car, uh, these sort of applications. You have to rethink how engineering that brings the multiple domains together when you're architecting the system. Yeah. So that's a system level digital twin virtualization uh, of engineering. Yeah. Then you go to the silicon. The silicon is increasingly becoming more and more complex. We keep hearing about that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. With the angstrom as well as multi-die, advanced packaging, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then the third part of the presentation was AI is is transformative. Yeah. What are the things we can leverage with AI? And we really put a beautiful uh, um, vision of how to go from what we called a uh, co-pilot to autopilot with agent engineers. And yeah. actually the feedback from customers has been has been uh, fantastic, a lot of enthusiasm. Was that the first time you presented it this morning, the, the L1 the, to L5? Yeah, this is the first time we presented this morning. Yeah, and, and so the feedback was good? V actually very, very good feedback from uh, the customers. And right now there are a number of panels that are talking exactly about, so how do we use it in the workflow? Yeah. Because this whole, uh, future in AI, if it's not changing your workflow, it's, it's taming the complexity, but not necessarily addressing yeah. the big challenge of uh, the, the exponential complexity. And, and, and I think one of the quotes you used in your presentation was from Jensen Wong saying, we need a million engineers from Synopsys. And, and I quite laughed. I was sitting next to Shankar and I said, hire them from Synopsys India. But, <laughs> uh, but seriously, I think um, the agent, uh, agentic AI or a AI agents uh, can work with humans to deliver what uh, people like uh, NVIDIA are looking to do. Is that right? Uh, yes, because if you look at where we are today with AI, we are using Copilot for uh, assistive. So think of it as a chatbot. Mm. But it's much more than chatbot because it can give you directions on your not only workflow, on your test bench, on your RTL, etc. So that's available today mm. as an assistive capability. The moment you start moving to generative capability, then you go to agentic capability, your workflow will change. Mm. That's where you need a human engineer in collaboration with an agent engineer mm. to start rethinking your workflow in order to tame the complexity we're talking about. Yeah, now part of this conference is obviously your customers, your developers, the executives, and you, know, you had this fireside chat with Rene. Uh, what do you feel were the highlights of that? <laughs> You know, what, what you witnessed in my discussion with René is exactly how René and I interact. Okay. So uh, when we get together for one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. we look at the macro, what are the big trends we're seeing, and you can see big alignment in terms of the AI opportunities disrupting every industry. Yeah. Then what role will the silicon play, and how do you customize your silicon to make it efficient for a specific workload for the various markets. Yeah. And uh, with what ARM uh, brings in, with Synopsys and Foundry, these are essential components mm -hmm. to build that future silicon. Yeah, and, and, and I think where what's, what's quite interesting is um, we, we hear now like yeah, companies like NVIDIA now is talking about the yearly cadence, and then you talked with Rene about speeding up from ideation to tape out. Yes. Uh, and I think you said, yeah, like in zero. Uh, but I, just tell us a little bit about that you know, that need to improve the design cycles. Traditionally, we've been like two or three years design cycle. It's being accelerated now. Exactly. It? So and it's more complex. So there is the actual silicon design cycle, but then there's another uh, speed up that is needed is once you put that silicon inside the system, yeah. do you have the software ready? 
Yeah. Has it been designed before the sil uh, silicon is available? And that's where the whole uh, digital twin virtualization, et cetera, is needed yeah. to shorten the time from silicon to system to the end product and end market. On the silicon itself, we have amazing technology in terms of um, leveraging uh, reinforcement learning with synopsis.ai, then moving into the assistive, the creative, into the, the agentic uh, agent engineers. Yeah. Okay. So uh, close this uh, close this conversation. I know you have to go off to the next one, but um, what's what what can we see from Synopsis over the next few months? Uh, what's your, your your real sort of exciting passion right now? You know, it's uh, engaging with our customers to take. Uh, in some cases, uh, technology that they are already uh, prototyping or putting inside their workflow. I'm looking forward for the day where we can talk and say the workflow of chip design has evolved due to the technology that we are envisioning and working on. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I know. I love it. <laughs> well, Sassine, thank you very much. Great to see you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>